Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. Yellowstone Lake's been rocking and rolling even before these earthquakes started in Puerto Rico. Yeah, it's a little concerning. Yeah, you can see it shaking right now. Little vibrations. Currently, it is 25 degrees. Wind is only at 4 miles an hour. And... Yeah, it's supposed to increase to maybe 7. Um, yeah, snow today. They keep moving the camera around. Yeah, all the people that are there have arrived on snowmobile. Uh, the roads are closed to uh, cars. You can see some people walking here. Yeah, this one looks a little dirty. Yeah, Puerto Rico just had another 4.8. This is that large earthquake that came in at Puerto Rico. Originally it was a 6.6 .6 and then downgraded to a 6.4. You can see the heat that was brought up um, from that earthquake down there at the uh, bottom of the chart. Yep, shook up the magma, which rose up. We got another one right here at 11.27. That's a 5.5, or excuse me, 5.8 that came in at Puerto Rico. And then we got one marked in red at 12.42. That one there was at the park. That was a 1.4 uh, northeast of Old Faithful, 4 kilometers in depth which is about 2.49 miles below sea level. All earthquakes are measured at sea level. Before that, there was a 2.5 Sun Valley, Idaho. That doesn't really show up at the park. Way over here to the left of this monitor, five kilometers in depth. So that would be 3.1 miles in depth. And then we got a 1.4 up north by Helena. Lincoln, Montana, a 1.4. Oh, they just added one, it looks like. A 1.5, same area. Okay, uh, the 1.4, 11 kilometers. Uh, the 1.5, 10 kilometers. Yeah, they just added that one. Let's see, and then they got a quarry blast. I've never really seen any quarry blasts up in this area before. A 3.0. Now that's minus. See how it's minus? Uh, two kilometers. So that would be 1.24 miles above sea level. So this is the time frame of that one that happened in Idaho. Yeah, it doesn't show up here. We got a small one there, a small one there, um, some more small stuff. That one probably happened there. Uh, these here are probably Puerto Rico. And then earlier, yeah, there was all kinds of stuff going on. See that? Harmonic tremors. Let me pull that over. Yellowstone Lake has been really active. Yeah, uh, 2039. That would have been yesterday, universal time. Not being reported. Now, we do have... Oh, yeah, it is being reported. Oh, okay. Where is it at? Uh, 2039. Oh, that's the quarry blast. Okay. Yeah, minus two. Okay, we got another quarry blast at 1817, right there, just outside of the park. Yeah, it's in an area um, which normally doesn't have quarry blasts. Yeah, but Yellowstone Lake, look at this. I mean, it's been really active. And I went back uh, to Friday, I think it was. Let me pull this up for you. Look at all that. And we got more quakes, yeah. And look at that. That's supposed to be a 1.5. And that's right on the edge of Yellowstone Lake. And we got another one. Uh, a 2.1. Let me pull this down so we can see the date better. Um, now that was the 31st. This one here, 
um, was today the 1.5. We'll look at its signature and then we'll come over a little bit here. Look at these signatures. Got another one there. Uh, 1,545 seconds. Not being reported. Now on the 5th there was a 1.6 at 1514. Um, Lima, Montana. Right there. Yeah, that Lima, Montana one doesn't really show up here at the lake. Got another small one. Let me close this out and show you the activity. Yeah, look at all that. All I can do is shake my head. Many of them are in red, which indicates that um, the scientists need to come in and review them. And some are not in red. Now this was on the 4th. Let's see, I'll go back up. Because there was a series, if I can bring it down, yeah, a series of them right here. Let me pull this up for you. Um, 2 um, 2 o'clock. Yeah, a whole series of them there. None of those are re being reported. And as you saw, they're adding different earthquakes. Now, Yellowstone Lake is near one of the resurgent domes, um, which both collapsed during the last major eruption at Yellowstone. It's close to the Sour Creek resurgent dome. And seeing this increase in activity, you know, has me concerned. Remember when that one geologist said when they started seeing uh, earthquakes in the magnitude 2 that they would be concerned. One of the images of Yellowstone Lake, it's greatly washed out, but yeah, it looks like there's some cracks there in the ice. I just refreshed it, hoping, you know, the other image was better, but yeah, you really can't tell what's going on there. Yeah, a little overexposed, maybe. Steamboat Geyser has now erupted a total of 48 times so far this year. The last eruption was on the 26th. It broke all previous records of eruptions. And in the past, I'll take this down here, um, sometimes it had been several years. Let's go to um, between eruptions, see if we got. How far back do they go? Okay, so we got, yeah, eight years between eruptions, a year between eruptions, 140 days between eruptions, 178 a year, six years a year. And we'll go back to this one. And then in 2018, everything changed. And they claim they don't know why. Well, the magma's coming up. Look at that, before it changed, yeah, it was three years, 193 days, and six hours and 38 minutes. Yeah, Yellowstone is recharging. The magma is rising, as are the earthquakes. They're increasing too. The top, the uplift is becoming more brittle. And everything is normal is what they'll tell you, but no, it's not normal. The activity is not normal. So that's all I have for you right now. If any thoughts or comments or questions, please put it down below. Thank you very much for all of your support. It's greatly appreciated. If you don't get notification of when I make videos, you can um, subscribe to my Patreon account. I'm also on Twitter. And um, I have a PayPal account if you wish to do donations. Yeah, it's snowing. So please stay safe. Always be prepared for any type of disaster. Look what happened is happening around the world and in Puerto Rico. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.